What is up, guys? I am back with another one, and I'm here with Hi Alex. Let's go. And if you're pretty up to date, then you should know this is our new series, episode one of Mr. High's Horror Night. And we're going to go ahead and review one star movies or just shitty, atrocious movies that you can't even bother to sit through. So we're going to go ahead and sit through them for you. So our first runner ups are going to be. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and then we're going to do Cocaine Shark. He nice. We're going to do Heads or Tails, and I think Cocaine Shark will be Tails, and Killer Clowns will be Heads. Alright, so this is cool. That looks like Heads, so I just got a bet. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm about to go. <laughs> Wait, I'm about to go. Wait, nah, but we got Heads, so that means we're going to be watching <coughs> the Killer Clowns from outer space yes sir so we'll go ahead and pull that up and we'll show you guys what it's looking like okay so released in 1988 killer clowns from outer space sends in the clowns this cult classic is back one of a kind alien invasion sci-fi featuring blood drinking aliens harvesting a small city so this is definitely something i've never seen and by the looks of this guy I think we're going to be in for a good one. <laughs> Hopefully this is a good way to start off the one star movie reviews. These are all not necessarily one stars, but in our eyes, this is just like absurd stuff. We wanted to like show you guys and check out ourselves. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. So now that we've seen those po the poster, I just want to get your reaction. How do you feel about this Yo, so far? Honestly, there's no way that all of the fucking killer clown aliens are going to look like that guy on the screen. He looks like a cock. That's all I got to say, man. He looking crazy. I have no like no clue what to expect. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going with no expectations and my mind's going to be blown. I just already know it. And for us just not trying to get copyrighted, I think we'll probably show clips but we'll have voiceovers. And sadly, you probably won't be able to see us, but it'll just be a little voiceover and you'll probably get to tell who's talking because relatively, <laughs> like, it, it's kind of just me or Alex. But we're going to go ahead and check it out, throw some clips in there, see what's up with these cl killer clowns from outer space. Ready? Shout out to me and Alex. Let's go. <laughs> yes, Alright guys, so we're here, and here's the intro. Oh. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Oh my god, man. This is <laughs> looking pretty crazy, man. So first off, like we started with the little cameo from Jeffrey fucking Dahmer here. He just pulled up on the scene. <laughs> and he was hungry. Oh yeah, but that cop was already giving him the mean eye, and we didn't even know what to expect once Jeffrey Dahmer pulled up in the first fucking minute. But after that, we were pretty surprised after, like, it was just a short little cameo and then just cuts to a fucking ice cream truck. Jeffrey Dahmer's just trying to smash. Hey, man, he's just like me for a lot of knees, <laughs> No, but literally, we couldn't even believe how absurd this movie was. But I guess for the 80s, you can't really do anything about that. And just the corniness, like, from this old man here. This guy literally took the cake for me. This guy was insane. Honestly, he might have been the greatest character in all of cinematic history, in my opinion. <laughs> this guy was a goat. Dude, I mean, look at this guy. Oh, my God, that punch action. It's crazy. <laughs> this looks insane. Dude, no, seriously, it was one of the most absurd movies I think I've seen up to date now. But I think we're going to have to, like, look forward to a bunch of this shit. Dude, if this is what it's going to be looking like, this is insane. I look at him. Um, that's how I'm going to be feeling after every single movie review. Oh, uh, and here's the reveal of the cloud. First man, or whatever the fuck it is, homie's just looking crazy. And then it goes to heads and just introduces the couple. So here's going to be like the little, like, main little antagonist of the group. They're going to go ahead and just, like, spawn in all the bullshit that happened in this movie. But yeah, honestly, just the whole look of everything was crazy as soon as they went into the little 
circus tent, everything in there just looked wonky and insane. Like, it just looked crazy. Like, how someone could even think of it, like, how it was all laid out and everything. It was, like, massive in there for how just small it looked from the outside. And in the 80s, they literally had nothing else but, like, backgrounds and little stuff they could move around, like, after they painted it. So, like, you know this probably took time for them to just throw together in the set. And honestly, I don't even know what the actual plot was to this movie because this guy, like, just pulls up with the cotton candy, right? And surprise, surprise, it's full of humans. And they're over here just on this quest to, like, figure out what they're even doing in this town. <clears throat> yeah, I know it just showed, like, the, a reveal of a human inside of the actual cotton candy. But, yo, the first actual reveal of the human that was actually hidden inside was crazy they just peeled it open there was just a bloody face of some random ass dude in there i think it actually might have been the Dahmer guy just chilling in the little cotton candy cocoon he got clapped it was ggs <laughs> no yeah literally i don't even know i don't even know if like they're they're just trying to kill humans or like drink their blood like this guy is but it's honestly just an absurd plot that you guys need to just come check it out because this thing is like I can't even, like... I, honestly, I was able to clip anything from this movie because it was all fucking absurd. It was, like, to the point where I was, like, didn't even know what I was watching. Kind of, like, dozing off sometimes, but, like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, most of the time, I was just, like, dude, I don't know what's going on. I just tuned back into, like, this crazy-ass part. Yeah, for sure. And there was definitely a couple of scenes where they just dragged it on with the most weird, like... A random shit it was just crazy especially with the ending out of nowhere this thing was just going crazy like a final boss popped up and they just somehow killed him and this thing just started floating in the sky on some weird shit and it just kind of fucking exploded and like terminated itself crazy alrighty so that was literally the last scene the thing just floated away and it blew up like fireworks credits and that was literally all how did you feel about that movie my god dude it was all over the place i feel like i could have just walked out of the room and walked back at any point and i would have missed nothing i still <laughs> would have known what's going on but honestly i cannot lie even though that movie was wild it was something i'm glad i can say i've watched now it just it was crazy it was definitely just all over the place and crazy but it was a it was a first, like, one-time watch and one-time moment because I'm definitely not ever watching that shit again, but it was good for what it was, you feel me? It was all right. It was all right. I think the only way I would ever watch that again is if somebody gave me, like, some free mushrooms. It was just like, dude, I'll give you these mushrooms for free if you just watch this movie. And I'll just be like, all right, man, you motherfucker. And then, like, I'll just sit there, watch that movie, probably feel uncomfortable after but uh, I have nothing much to even really say about it. He like this guy said most of what what it is. It's yeah. a it, I'm surprised it's not one star. It's actually like six stars. That's crazy. <laughs> Out of ten. That's insane. That movie was fucking nuts, and it wasn't it like I could say my personal rating for it probably like a smooth four. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna have to go the same smooth four maybe a five. But if I were to rewatch it, it would have to be a two. But you know what I'm saying? It's like a smooth four, though. It's it's not terrible, but it's also not not the worst thing. You feel me? I mean, something I could say I did like was that literally for its time, like 1988, like they had some cool like designs and like I guess ideas. Cause I was like, what the hell? Like, who thought of making these clowns look like this? And who did make them look like this? Cause they looked up fucking insane and the little inside of the little carnival place too where they were just all chilling at their little base the inside of that looked crazy too whoever thought of that shit wild so i think that's gonna be all for that well, I don't, you have anything else to say about that movie i don't know man if i had to give my personal opinion though if you were asking me man should i go check this out fuck it don't watch it by yourself though don't do it you're gonna want to kill yourself but watch it with like the homies or something slap it on make them suffer with you and it won't be too bad i feel like it's something to laugh at <laughs> that's exactly what we're gonna do here every probably every week 
every like couple of days who knows when we'll check out these one star movies but next since we didn't flip it this time we'll probably do shark uh cocaine shark yep. so yeah we'll see what the sharks act like once they're off cocaine i'm excited to see that shit though for sure <laughs> <laughs> what, man? <laughs> but other than that, the that's, on, baby. that's Mr. High's Horror Night. It is now uh, daytime because we, we got through this fucking shitty movie. And have a good one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch Let us know what's time. next.